a group of us, led by myself, went to Baghdad. We had meetings with the senior members of the government there. And of course, the top of the agenda was the situation in Ashraf. There was a brutal attack on the 8th of April, which led to 35 people being massacred, hundreds being critically injured. Uh, two and a half thousand heavily armed troops from the Iraqi military and 50 armoured vehicles attacked these 3,400 uh, unarmed civilians. This was a, a, a massacre of horrendous proportions. So clearly this was uh, top of our agenda. We were demanding a full independent inquiry into what happened and saying that there must be a resolution to uh, the Ashraf crisis, because otherwise we're going to face a Srebrenica-style massacre. Now, the uh, UN Secretary General's personal representative in Baghdad said to me, is it possible for you to go to Paris and speak to the leadership of the National Council for Resistance in Iran and try to broker some agreement that involves them? I abandoned all my meetings in Brussels last Wednesday when I returned from Iraq, went straight to Paris, had five hours of meetings and have uh, come out with a solution which would involve the repatriation of these 3,400 people to America, Canada, Australia, Norway, Switzerland and the EU member states. But this is the only acceptable option. And I've sent that now to Baroness Ashton. We need the full support of the council. And I've sent it to the American ambassador in Baghdad. These are the only options that would be acceptable. And it's the European Parliament that uh, is behind this.